Hello, my dear student. How are you? Hope that all of you are fine. I am also fine by the grace of Almighty. I am Saiful Islam, lecturer of mathematics, milestone college. Welcome all of you to my online class again. Today, I will discuss about exercise 11.4 of your higher math. This is about equation of state line. So let us start our class. At first, you should know what is straight line. If you want to know about the straight line, at first you should know about the line. Line is a moving point. If a number of point move forward, it make a line. It make a line. And if the points do not sense their direction that it calls straight line. Today we will learn about the equation of straight line. We know a lot of equation about the linear equation, quadric equation, linear equation of one variable, quadric equation of one variable, two variable such, such of x plus y equal to 5. This is a linear equation of two variable. You know this s square plus 3y square equal to 10. This is the quadric equation of two variable y equal to 0. This is the equation of linear equation of one variable, such type of equation. But today we will discuss about the equation of straight line. If you want to know about the equation of a straight line, at first you should know about the slope of a straight line. Already you have learned that from exercise 11.3. After that, I wanted to discuss it little bit. So what is slope? Look, say this is a straight line. This is a straight line which produce an angle with the positive side of x axis that is theta. The straight line produce an angle theta with the positive side of x axis. We know this is x axis and this is y axis. And so the slope n is equal to the tangent of that theta. Slope is indicated with the small letter of m and that m is equal to tan theta. Now, what is the equation of the straight line? The general equation of straight line is y equal to mx plus c. This is the general equation of a straight line. general equation of a straight line. Look here m. m is slope. Just now I have discussed about the slope. And what is c? c is the intersector of y axis. That means this is y axis and this portion from origin to the intersecting point, this portion is known as C. So, the equation of this straight line is y equal to mx plus C. From here, we see that the equation of a straight line expressed by the variable x and y. So, the basic equation or the general equation of straight line is y equal to mx plus c. Now, if this equation passes through the center, what will be? In that case, this c will be 0. So, the equation become y equal to mx. So, this is the equation when the straight line passing through the center.
equation of a straight line passing through the center because c is equal to 0 so this equation must go through the center i mean like this like this now you may ask me the question sir if the equation go through the s axis what will be the equation if the straight line go the through the x axis or x axis is a straight line and what is the equation of x axis we know the equation of x axis is y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 is the equation of x axis Why y is equal to 0 is the equation of x axis? Because we know along with x axis the value of y is 0. Along with x axis the value of y is always 0. Similarly, along with y axis the value of x is always 0. So what is the equation of y axis? The equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 this is the equation of y axis so we got four equations of four different straight line we got four equation of four different straight line. I wanted to discuss more. Now you may ask me the question, sir, if the straight line is parallel to the x axis, what will be the equation of that straight line? A straight line parallel to the x axis. Look at the board. This is parallel to x-axis. And what is the equation of that straight line? In this case, we should know the value of this intersecting part. Say, if it is, is equal to b. This is, is equal to b. So, the equation of parallel to the x-axis will be y is equal to b this is the equation of parallel to the x axis the value of y is always b in this straight line the value of y is always b in this straight line here look if i consider this point here the value of y is b if i consider this point here also the value of y is b Again, if I consider this point here also, the value of y is b. But in this three point, the value of x are not same. Here, the value of y is same, always b. So that's why y is equal to b indicate the equation of the straight line parallel to the x-axis. equation of a straight line parallel to x axis 
Similarly, if I want to draw a line parallel to y axis, what it will be? What it will be? If I want to draw this parallel to y axis, what it will be? In this case, we should know the value of this portion. The value of this portion. Say this is A. So the equation of a straight line parallel to y axis is x equal to A. x is equal to A. This is the equation of a parallel line of y axis. Why? Because on this line, the value of x is always a. On this line, the value of x is always a. That's why this is the equation of the parallel to y axis. Equation of a straight line parallel to y and this. Now, if I know a straight line is passing through a definite point and a definite slope, what will be the equation of that straight line? We know a straight line is passing through a point x1, y1 and also it passing through the slope m. What will be the equation of that straight line? We don't know this straight line is <coughs> parallel to x-axis or this straight line is parallel to y-axis or it is passing through the center or the intersecting part of y-axis. We don't know anything. We only know if this straight line passing passes through the point x1, y1 and the slope of that straight line is m. What will be the equation of that straight line? Yes, the equation of that straight line will be like this x minus <coughs> x1 equal to <coughs> the equation of that straight line will be y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. So this is the equation of the straight line by which it passes through the point x1 and y1 and it has the slope m. So this is the point, uh, <coughs> equation of a straight line equation of a straight line which passes through the point x1 y1 and having having slope m now another question if we don't know any slope we only know two points by which a straight line is passes. So what will be the equation of that straight line? A straight line passing through different point, definite point, and what will be the equation of that straight line? Okay, the equation of that straight line will be like this. x minus x1, x1 minus x2, y minus y1 y1 minus y2 so this is the equation of a straight line which is passes through to definite point x1 y1 and x2 y2 so this is the equation of a straight line which 
passes through the points x1, y1 and x2, y2. So we have learned eight different equation of different straight line. Keep it in your mind and when you will solve the math you should apply that on your solution. Now I will show you some problems according to these equations. Now problem number 10 look at the board. Find the equations equation of the straight line which passes through the point 2 minus 1 and whose slope is 2. It has given two information. Number 1, it is passes through a point 2 minus 1 and also it has the slope 2. By using these two informations, we will find out the equation of that straight line. So, just now I have shown you the 8 equation of 8 different straight line. Can you remember? Which equation is it? Yes, it, this is seven number equation. Okay, look at the board. Given the point x1, y1 is equal to 2 minus 1, the slope. m is equal to 2. We know the equation of, a st of the straight line is we know the equation of the straight line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This is the seven number equation. We will use this equation when we know a straight line is passes through a definite point and it has a definite slope. Now put the value of x1, y1 and the value of m. Here x1 is equal to 2, y1 is equal to minus 1 and the value of m is equal to 2 or y is equal to y1 means minus 1 m is equal to 2 x minus x1 is equal to 2 now it will be y plus 1 or y plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 4 2x minus 4 so we can write y equal to 2x minus 4 minus 1. Therefore, y equal to 2x minus 5. So this is our required equation. This is the equation of the straight line. Which is passes through the point 2 minus 1 and having slope 2. Now, question number 11a. Find the equation of the straight line passing through the points A15 and B25. So it is given two information that is two different point. By this two definite point, a straight line is passing. We will find out the equation of that straight line. So can you remember which number equation it will be? Yes, I have shown this in 8 number equation. Look at the board. Given the point, point x1, y1 is equal to a15 and x2, y2 equal to b. Two, four. We know
equation of a straight line passing two points two definite points is x minus x1 y minus x1 minus x2 equal to y minus y1 y1 minus y2 so we know the value of x1 x2 y1 y2 now if i put the value of these points we will get our desired equation so x minus x1 the value of x1 is 1 then x1 minus x2 that is 1 minus 2 x1 is 1 and x2 is 2 again y minus y1 the value of y1 is 5 and y1 minus y2 that is 4 so this is x minus 1 minus 1 and this is y minus 5 by 1 now we will cross multiply we will take the cross multiplication at first we will take this minus y plus 5 and if I take this it will be x minus 1 so minus y is equal to x minus 1 minus 5 minus y is equal to x minus 6 so if i multiply both side by minus it will be y equal to minus x plus 6 so this is the equation of our required so this is the equation of the required straight line I think you have understood just at first you should follow the question which kind of information it has given by that information by using that information we can find out the equation of the straight line <clears throat> by using the formula already I have given you a such type of formula now question number 12 a find the equation of the straight line whose slope is 3 and intersector of y is 5 it also has given two information that is slope is 3 and intersector of y is 5 so which number equation will apply over there which number formula will apply over there can you remember it yes this is the basic formula y equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is the intersector of y axis so look at the board given slope m is equal to 3 intersector of y axis is equal c is equal to 5 we know equation of straight line basic equation of straight line is y equal to mx plus c and we know the value of m and c so m is equal to 3 3x plus c is equal to 5 therefore y is equal to 3x plus 5 this is our required equation so this is very simple if you know the value of m and c 
you can find out the equation of the straight line very easily now question number 13a find the points where the straight line y is equal to 3x minus 3 intersect the x axis and y axis also draw the line here it is given a equation of a straight line and we will find out that this straight line intersect the x axis and y axis in which point we know the intersecting point of x axis the value of y must be 0 we know along with x axis the value of y must be 0 and again along with y axis the value of x must be 0 so if you want to find out the intersecting point of x axis you need to put the value of y 0 again if you want to find the intersecting point of x axis you need to put the value of x 0 so look at the board given the equation of straight line given the straight line y is equal to 3x minus 3 if y is equal to 0 then 0 is equal to 3x minus 3 or 3x is equal to 3 therefore x equal to 1 so the straight line so the given straight line intersect at one zero on x axis. So we got the point intersecting point on the x axis that is one zero. So this straight line intersect x axis at one zero point. Similarly if we put one, x equal to 0, if x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 3 into 0 minus 3. Therefore, y is equal to minus 3. So, the given straight line intersect y axis at 0 minus 3 so our answer is 1 0 and 0 minus 3 1 0 and 0 minus 3 these are the intersecting points of x axis and y axis so my dear student hope that you have understood my lecture if you have any problem ask your subject teacher no more today see you again allah bless